What's up you guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I just love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, TV shows. If it's geeky, if it's nerdy, I love to talk about it here. Right now, I wanna give you guys my thoughts on The Twilight Zone Season 2, Episode 7, and it was titled A Human Face. Um, I've been really trying to get through these Twilight Zone episodes. I wanted to talk about each one of them. And as I've said before, I'm getting my master's degree. I'm also a teacher who's trying to prepare his year for teaching safely amongst the pandemic. And I'm also a father. So I've got a lot on my plate right now. But I really want to take care of this Twilight Zone season two because it's, it's just been on my plate and um, for a while now. And we're on to episode seven. So, and I've already seen the whole season, and I love the whole season. But let's knock out episode seven right now. A human face stars Jenna Elfman, Christopher Maloney, and both of these are great actors, and they do such a good job of portraying a horrific moment, and horrific, but in some ways joyous. And so let me explain. Their daughter died. Um, their teenage daughter died. And they are mourning her loss. You know, they've been mourning her loss for some time at this point in, in, the, uh, in their lives. When they get a visit from an alien. And at first this alien is rather grotesque. It's down in their basement. It's gnawing on stuff. And it's just, it's not pretty to look at. Eventually, they come to realize that this alien has taken the form of their deceased daughter. <clears throat> and as they begin communicating with it, they learn that this alien not only has taken the form of their deceased daughter, but sounds like her. It has even taken on her memories in many different ways. It, it's her now. You know, obviously it's not. It's still an alien, but it's her. It's got her memories. It's got her her uh, um, appearance. It's got her voice. It's it's got her behaviors, her mannerisms. It takes everything on. And when they begin to question, why is it here? What is its presence for? They begin to to ask themselves a lot of questions. You know, is this is this a gift? Is this uh, some sort of divine intervention? Or is this sinister? And as they learn throughout the episode, that yes, indeed, there are some sinister um, going-ons here. Uh, you know, what does that mean for them? Are they willing to accept the bad to get the good? Are they willing to accept that there's potential great evil that's going to be caused as a result of this alien being on earth are they willing to accept that to have their daughter back it's a great moral conundrum that to be honest with you is never really truly satisfied by the end at the end you get this sense on what the parents are going to do and i think it's predictable i think what they decide to do is what a lot of parents would decide to do in, in similar situations, but man, it delivers this real moral, ethical question that um, that is horrifying to, to really ponder what this question would mean to a parent that has had that kind of loss. Um, it, it, this episode is really a slow burn, not really there's not a lot to it, to be honest with you, other than the discovery of what this being is here for, <clears throat> what the being says is happening. The being, even after they discover that it has some sinister m motives, this alien says, well, I don't have these sinister motives anymore because your daughter has taught me to love. You know, that type of deal. Is it being sinister still? Is it still using deception? There's a lot going on here and a lot that these parents have to really digest and you never really get the sense that they fully digested it by the end. It's really kind of left to the audience to make that determination as a lot of Twilight Zone episodes are. 
this is one of my favorite episodes this season, though, because of the, the, the ethical, moral questions that are posed and kind of the open-endedness. Like I said, you really have an idea on what these parents are going to do at the end. Um, but what does it truly mean, you know? So, yeah, really good episode of The Twilight Zone. I really liked it a lot. But the question is, what did you think of The Twilight Zone Season 2, Episode 7, A Human Face? I would love to hear your take on it. Let me know in the comments down below. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content. want to make sure that you're up to date with what I'm doing. And thank you so much for being here at the LQ Review. This is where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you later.